Welcome. In this very unprofessional video, one time take, we're going to show you how to set up a redirect script on your domain. So here goes. Go to Google, type this in y o u r l s dot org is the site. Go there. Click on download. Get the most recent version, which in this case is 1.5. Click on it. Go here. Click on this. You want to download that zip file. Okie dokie. Let me just move it into the window so you can see what's going on here. Click on OK. Uh, if it all goes well, you should have a zip file that looks like that. Now, go to your website, setting up, let's do setting up WordPress blog. Log into your cPanel. See if I can remember what the heck I use for a username password here. Lovely. All right, that works a little better. So you need to log in. We're going to do a few things. One is we're going to upload the zip file, make some edits, and two, we're going to uh, create a database for it. So let's start with the file manager. Click on that. Um, showing hidden files, no big deal. Now, in this case, I'm going to create a subdirectory where this redirect strip, script is going to go. You don't have to. If you don't, you should pretty much start with a blank domain, nothing installed. So let's create a directory called R for redirect. Let's descend into there. There should be nothing in there. Time to upload that little zip file we just had. And what was it called? Y O U R L S. Is it dash zip? Yeah, it looks like I've done this before. So I'm getting the most recent version. Looks like I just downloaded it. Click on open. Open. It's going to upload that. In a minute, it'll say it's done. 18% complete. 45%. Getting closer. 81%. Okay, done. Back to home, blah, blah, blah. So I'm in my R subdirectory. Now I've got this one file there. I'm going to click on it and extract it into the directory that I'm in currently. Close that little bad boy up. I already know what I need to do, so I need to go into the includes subdirectory of that, find the config sample. Let's rename that. Where are you? Rename. So in config sample.php now becomes config.php. Time to edit that little bad boy. Click on edit, edit. Now it's going to ask for a database user, database user, password, database name, uh, local host, that just leave that alone, prefix, leave that alone. Down here in the URL site, I want to change this to my domain. And I also need to put in the subdirectory. Uh, slash r and notice there's no trailing slash as instructed uh, what am I I'm in the minus six time zone not a big deal uh, so I want to leave this alone I want there to be a login I, I just want this to be for myself I don't want anyone else I can come down here I'm going to change this this is my combination of username and password Let's call it admin with password password. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to delete this line. So now I just have one user, one password, admin and password. Now I still need to create this user, password, and database. So back to my control panel. Click on databases. OK, should we create a database called Y-O-U-R-L-S? Great database.
thinking, thinking. So there we go. I've created, there's the database. I'm going to copy that right now. So I don't forget, back over here. And my database name is what I just copied, that whole thing, right there. Now let's go back here. Let's create a user called user. And let's call password, password, uh, one, one, one. So password, one, one, one. So I'm going to create the user. So I'm going to copy that. Back over here, so my user, I'm going to replace this with what I just copied. And I already told you what my password was. Password 111. This is done over here. So I've got the user, password, database. Oops, I should have this domain in here. Let's just, there it is. Setting up WordPress blog.com slash R, time offset. Left this to true. And admin and password. You probably want to put something a little more robust in there. I'm going to save that file. Now I gotta go back here for the database. One last thing to do is connect the database user, whose name happens to be user, with the database. So I've got to find the user I just created and the database I just created. Click on Add. Click on All Privileges. And make changes. So I've connected the user with the database. So I'm hopefully done there. Now let's go open another pad tab. Setting up WordPress blog.com slash R. Let's click on admin. Notice it defaulted to install.php. So I'm going to click on install. So it did everything. It looks good to go. I can log in with admin and password. So, ready to go. Now, one last little thing I want to do here. Let's close this guy. In my, I'm going to go back up a uh, subdirectory to the, the R subdirectory, and I'm going to create a file called index.php. Notice this is in my R subdirectory. And the reason I want to do that is because if somebody was just to go to that subdirectory, I don't want them to see all those goofy files I've got there. So now there's a blank file. So how do you use this little guy? Well, let's actually get rid of all the ones that are already there <clears throat> and show you a couple different scenarios. And last one, goodbye. So let's say I want to create a redirect to yahoo.com. All I need to do is click on shorten the URL. Da -da. So there I can just click on it. It gets copied. And notice there's no clicks. I'm going to paste that in, that redirect. So it's r slash one, hit return. It should redirect me to Yahoo and it does. Now if I come back to here, and I'm going to refresh this page. Uh, actually, let's just hit this guy, I think. Yeah, whatever. My clicks are now at one. I get some stats that look like this. Tells me number of hits and what time frame. Uh, as time goes on, it'll show last 24 hours, seven days, all time. Traffic location, which is kind of nice. It might give you a little more details. And then traffic sources. I don't think it's going to say anything in this case. So that's how you use it. Um, you can always come back here. You can delete it like I just did. You can edit this. Um, what the heck is that guy? Share it. Okay. Now let's just do another one to google.com. And this time, I'm going to give it a custom URL. Let's just call it Google and shorten that URL. So now instead of having a number at the end, it has the, 
uh, the word. So let's do that again over here. Let's paste that bad boy in there. And it's setting up wordpressblog.com slash r slash Google. And here we go. All right, it must be somebody's birthday today. Anyways, that's how you use <clears throat> the redirect, kind of the bit.ly-like redirect. Um, anyway, that's it.